since we've already talked about how to create a post, I want to briefly show you some of the more advanced options for posts. Um, you know, inserting images, links, formatting, things like that, just so you can get the most out of your content. So as before, we're going to click on Posts and Add New. This will bring up the content editor. Um, you're going to make sure it's in visual, not HTML. Uh, the kitchen sink is down, so I have all the options I can. I'm going to give it a title, test post. And then I'm going to put in some comment. This is how you make uh, the best, the most of your content. I'm going to show you how to do a couple different things. Uh, to start off, I'm going to show you how to add a link. Now what this will do is when someone's reading your post, uh, you can make some of these words actually link to a different website. So for example, um, define content. So here are definitions of the word content. I'm going to copy that link. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight the word content. I'm going to click this button right here that looks like a, a chain link. And I'm simply going to paste that URL right into the link URL field. And one thing you want to make sure is that the HTTP colon slash slash is still there. Um, the other thing is that you can give this a target. If you want it to open in the same window, um, you'll select the first option. And when someone clicks on it, it will take them away from your website and to wherever you have linked the word. If you want it to open a separate window so that an individual can stay in your website and still go to the link that you posted, click open link in a new window. So I am going to insert that, and as you can see, the word becomes blue and is underlined. So to give you an idea of what that does, we'll preview this page. And the, the settings that we have on our website is it turns it, um, turns it black, and then as you hover over it, it turns it kind of the screen color. So as someone's reading this post, they see that and they click on it, it's going to take them to the definitions of content. So that's one way to... Um, you know, make it a little easier for the user to understand exactly what you're talking about by giving them links. You can also insert images, and there are a number of ways to insert images, um, but you're going to go to the same place to do that, and that's this button right here next to Upload Insert. And it, when you stay over it for a second, it says Add an Image. Now, there are three options for how you can add an image. You can add an image from your computer, from your URL, or from the media library. So right now I'm going to add an image from the computer. You can see I have a number of images here. And let's see, I can select one. And it's going to upload it. And then it's going to show me its options. Now there are a number of options here, but the, the main thing that you want to pay attention to is the alignment and then the size. So I'm going to keep it right aligned and medium. I'm then going to hit insert into post. And as you can see, it shows up in my post. And when I preview the page, and this won't look great because it's just a test, but there's the picture. You can also insert from a URL. So if I go to images at google.com, and I want to use a Google image of um, a dog. Oh, that's a scary looking dog. So I can copy image URL. Because each image on the web on the internet has its own specific uh, URL, and what I can do then is next to upload insert, I'm going to go there again, and I'm going to click from URL, and I'm going to put in the URL and give it a title, scary dog, and then once again I'll make sure that it's aligned correctly, and I'll insert into post. And there it is. So when we preview, you can see my picture of my scary dog right there. Uh, real quick, the third way, if you've upload, uploaded any images to the website, they're going to stay there. So when you upload the image, you can go to Media Library, and it's going to have all the images on the website. If you want to use those again, uh, you click Show, and then Insert into Post. And that's how you do some of the more advanced features on posting.